Hi, my name is Gabe with Livid Instruments, and I'm going to show you how to customize your own OM64 controller. The first step to disassembling your controller is to get yourself a Phillips head screwdriver, and you're going to remove the outer screws on the faceplate. And it's good to have little containers or something to put the screws in so you don't lose any of them. After you get the screws off the faceplate, you should be able to just lift the faceplate off of the body. And there's no need to take off the knobs or the sliders. And once you get the faceplate off, there's going to be a couple screws that will be holding down your MIDI board. And you're going to just remove those the same way. Okay, your third step is going to be removing the back plate. So you're going to take the MIDI board and the control board and you're going to set it carefully over to the side. Try not to damage any of the parts and pieces on something soft. And you're going to take the controller body and you're going to tilt it up like this. And it's going to have similar screws to the faceplate. And you just remove those. Next step, you're going to remove the feet from the bottom of your controller. And I would get something soft to set it on also so you don't damage any of the unfinished body. Set it down. And the Phillips head that you were using should work fine. And that will complete your disassembling of the Ohm 64 controller. We have chose to do a camo pattern for our Ohm 64. So the first step would be for us to tape it off. We're going to use blue painter's tape because it leaves no adhesive behind. Because when you go to color or dye, that adhesive will rub off with it and it might cause it to, to just not come out the way that you want it. So we'll begin with just taping it up, just pretty basic at first, and then fine tune it towards the end. Be sure to cover all spots of the own body, because you don't want any dye or paint to cross over to get on the natural surface, because getting it off is pretty much not an option after that. So we're back and we've got done tracing the image onto the blue painter's tape with a permanent marker or a pencil and now comes the next step where we're going to choose which portion that we're going to dye first. Since we chose to do a camouflage pattern, we thought it would be cool to utilize the natural finish of the ohm as a portion of the camouflage. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to use the scalpel, make sure it's sharp, but don't go too deep so you'll cut the cut the controller just enough to get the tape back and then we're going to use a clear wood finish like lacquer spray you can get it at Home Depot they've got the good stuff so check it out we'll, we'll give you a list of materials at the end of the video as well telling you all the tools we use so you start using your little exacto knife or scalpel and finding uh, how you're going to cut out your little portion of the image so tune back with us after we get all this work done and we'll show you the lacquer process So we got some black dye here, we mix it with a little bit of water to dilute it. We got a paintbrush, we got a little jar to put it in, and we've stripped off all the pieces where we're going to put the black at. We've got the lacquer covering our other portions so they don't get affected by the dye. We've got the tape still covering other things so they don't get affected by the dye. Have a little spare rag with you in order to dab up anything in case you get messy and blob on spots that you don't want dyed here. For our uh, experiment we were using black so that's 
you know, a really uh, strong color, so we're going to be very sparing with it because the natural wood finish does soak well, but there will be a portion where it can't get any darker than it is, and that's just the natural way of the grain. Now we've chose to use the dye instead of paint because we really want to bring out that wood finish because we think it'll look nice, especially camo style. So tune back in with me as I get to working on the old paint job here. Okay, so we're back after re-lacquering the board again. We covered our black portion and just touched up the tan one more time. And now it's to start on our next color in our image, which is a dark green. We suggest starting with any of the darker colors first and we're working your way down the color scale because that way they won't bleed into your lighter colors later. All right, so check back with us and we're gonna have green on here next. Okay, well we're back and now I'm on my last color to go. I've got a really neat neon kind of slimer green that we're going to do the last part of the camouflage with. And then after I'm done painting, we're going to lacquer it all again with that, that wood gloss and then we're going to be ready to go to get our sticker that we're going to be getting next and putting in the middle there. It's going to be really cool. Well, I've finished my painting duties, and it looks like I'm ready to add the last piece to my design. I went and picked up my handy dandy gorilla face sticker from the local sticker shop that's by Livid, and I'm going to put it right here in the middle where I've outlined it in black. Should look really nifty. After I'm done with that, I'm going to go apply a bunch of more of that wood gloss lacquer sealant, and then it's time to put the guts back in. So here we go. So I'm going to set it like this, careful not to damage the body. You should be able to push it up against the back plate. You're going to take your screws, the ones that were made for the MIDI board. You're going to start screwing those in to secure and hold down the MIDI board. Now you can fit the faceplate back on your body, making sure all the ribbon cable is clear. So once you have it all connected, you see that it's going to be registering the knobs that you turn. You just go, go ahead and check out a couple of them, make sure you, I would test the whole thing. Make sure they're all responsive. You're seeing an activity flash on the program itself. All the lights should be loading up. And we're gonna have other tutorials for this. And it seems to be working just fine, so now we're gonna go take this thing out and test it out on the town.